Recorded. All right. I don't even want to do this in one take. All right. These phones, the 7960 phone, has four notorious problems, and they're all related to one thing. Your phone rings, you pick it up, it keeps ringing. B, you pick it up, it goes to speakerphone. C, you're in the middle of something, talking to someone, and it, and it suddenly disconnects. What's the other problem? Anyways, they're all related to this thing. This stupid hook switch thing. So what you gotta do, you gotta clean off the connection underneath this. Put your stand up, press the button. Stand loose. Which button? Side. Okay, that one. I didn't quite get it in the shot. Okay. I'm going to take your cord out of here and plug it. Under the feet. All right, screw holes. Put them back. Sometimes you got to take a screwdriver and peel them up a little bit because they're hard to really stuck. Phillip head screwdriver. Oh, it's better if you have a magnetic one. Other two screws, push a button, flip the stand up. These two holes right here. This is a 7960 model phone. 7960. Oh, yeah, I was zooming in on that. There's also a 61 model. The 61 model is exactly the same except for on the inside, it's a little different. Same four screws. Alright, press button, put the lid. That back down. Now you just gotta pull it apart. It's like a clamshell. Pull it down at the bottom, pull it apart. And up here is where it's connected. It's just little tabs holding it. So if you hold it like this, press down on the top, pull up on the other half, you'll hear it crack. Pulls up, should come right apart for you. Hopefully nothing breaks. Sometimes the little tabs will break. Alright, so. This is what you want to fix, right here. Here's the spring. Here, I'm zooming in. Spring is just a little loop. Move your one hand out of the way so they see. Yay! And then, so you take this off, and on, 60, on the 7960 phone, you can just take this right out. The 61, it's permanently in there, you have to kind of flip it up. It's not permanent, but it's a little harder to deal with. Take off the little rubber thing here. That's the connection right there. Silicone seeps through this board, clutters up the connection, and it doesn't make a connection anymore. So what I do is use... Just some light uh, emery type... It's kind of like a sandpaper almost. Some people will use... Pencil eraser. Doesn't do as good of a job. You want to scratch up a little bit. You can probably even use a, an emery board or something. Just want to scratch it up a bit. Brush it off. While you're in here, this little connector, the little connection part, sometimes gets junk on it too. Take a little screwdriver, scrape it off a little bit. All that crap off there. Put this back in. Now on some model phones, like on the 7961, you might have to, Whoops. this thing will not go in here very well. The connections are very tight, so what you have to do is take a paper clip, and you just press in the holes. On a 60 phone, it goes right in. On a 61, it's hard to put in. Take your spring. Sometimes this will be bent really tight like this. What you want to do is stretch it out a little bit, not too much. this back in. The spring hooks right here. And it should snap down. Now it's back together. When you put the screws back into this, you want to make sure you don't over tighten the screws because these posts are plastic. And this, if you tighten them too much, they will break. Another thing that goes wrong with these phones is that sometimes they don't want to stand up. And if they, they keep wanting to fall down on their own, usually this part breaks. If you have another phone, you can just take this part out of it. Sit back in. There's a middle part breaks. So you just grab that. Stick it in there. 
There you go. All right, let's put it back together. Again, clamshell. Kind of just set it on there. So you got a gap, just like that. And then push it together. Usually I hear like a little snap or a crunch. There you go. Screws back in. Going over tight and I'm going to break the posts. Good that magnetic screwdriver, so don't. There you go. Oop. Receiver always goes in the bottom one. There's a little picture of a phone right there. If you forget which one, the other one's for a headset. Yeah, let me zoom in. Look at it right there. There we go. Should be all set. Go back into the network. The receiver should work great. Plug it in, pick up, hang up. Press your speaker, it'll hang up. It'll work perfectly after that. Sometimes okay. it'll last a week, sometimes it'll last a year. Sometimes it you can do it three times in a row and then it'll still not work. But because there you go. these phones can be stubborn. The yeah. end. <laughs>